I am going to show you how to do a composite in five easy steps. Step one is the should. Step two, the cutout. Step three, the background. Step four, we take the subject and we drop the new subject to the new background. And step five is the final image. In order for us to get this final image, there are several things that we need to do. Okay? For example, we drop the subject to the new background. We add some sharpening. We match the background and foreground color. We create a shadow to make the image look more realistic. We fix the hair. And we add some lining. In this video, I'll show you how to do, uh, how to cut the subject out from the background. We're going to do that by using the quick selection tool and the refine edge. We want to press W for the uh, quick selection tool, that's the shortcut. Then all we do is click and drag inside the image. Photoshop will automatically detect the edges. So we click and drag. Inside the image, we want to select everything. Alright. Now we're gonna get a little closer. Because we're missing the ear. There we go. I'm gonna check this selection. You can see we're missing one part right here. Okay. This part right here, this is part of the background. So what we want to do is we want to deselect this. We want to subtract this selection. So we're gonna keep our quick selection tool activated. And then we're gonna press Alt. And we're gonna click inside the parts that we don't want. Okay. Let's try that one more time. We're gonna get a little closer to the image. I'm gonna press the quick selection tool again. I'm gonna press Alt. And I want to click and drag inside. I want to deselect this part because this is, like I said, this is part of the background. So that looks really nice to me. Now I'm gonna take this photograph. To the uh, refine age. I'm gonna go to refine age. There's so many ways that we can view this image. We can view this image on overlay, on black, on white, black and white, on layers and reveal layers. The thing is that we want to see this on layers because we're gonna drop this. Uh, we're gonna drop this subject to a new background. Now I'm gonna go where it says smart radius. Smart radius is going to analyze the edges. And it does a pretty good job. I'm gonna maybe move the radius to about one. Let's see. It all depends how the image is looking. You may want to look at the image and move your slider accordingly. So I think 1.6 is going to be great. We are not going to worry about the edges. We are not gonna smooth feather contrast or anything like that. We're gonna do that uh, in a different way. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I learned. Now I'm going to go where it says output. In output, I want to check the contaminate colors. I'm going to leave that by 50%. We're going to output this into a new layer with a layer mask. I'm going to click OK. All right. Now we're going to click on the layer mask. We don't want to click. We don't want to click on the layer, but the layer mask. Now we're going to grab our lasso tool. And I'm going to select my subject from the neck down like so all right now uh, i'm gonna get closer to my image now i'm gonna press ctrl l and that is going to bring out the labels we have three little diamonds here the one on the left represents the blacks the one in the middle represents the midtones and the one on the right represents the highlights you just have to worry about the blacks so i'm going to move the black labels and I'm going to drag that to the right because I want to blow that selection alright that looks pretty nice 
To be honest with you, I think that I forgot to add blur. We're gonna we're gonna keep that selected. I'm gonna go to blur, gas in blur, and I'm gonna blur this by three percent. I'm sorry about that. And then we're gonna go to labels. But you what it wasn't doing it. So now I'm gonna drag this to the right. And I want you to look take a look to the edges. They look smoothier and they look more realistic. There we go. Alright, and that's how you cut somebody out from the background. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to match the colors and fix the perspective. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.